you are welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i am going to take you through the steps on how you can participate in the heaven one test net heaven one is one of the projects that has been mined in the satoshi app and the mining of this token has uh, it has concluded okay now it's time to participate in the test net now in order to participate in the test net we are going to click on this link here i'm going to drop the link in the description once we copy this link we go straight to our meta mask so i'm going to click and hold on the link then i'll select the copy button i'll go to my meta mask okay then i will log in so this is my meta mask i'm going to click right now on the browser button here and then it will take me to the browser section after which I am going to paste the link that I just copied. Now, I have pasted the link before now, and that is why you have this page shown like this. Okay, in your own case, you need to click on this search icon. Then you type exactly what you see on the screen. Okay, after which you click on the enter button to search. Okay, now this is the page that will load up. This is the testnet page of the Heaven One project. So the next thing we'll be doing here is we are going to connect our wallet. This is the first step. And you make sure that the wallet you are connecting is a core EVM wallet address. Make sure that is the address you use. Do not use any other address. Make sure you use core EVM uh, address. And make sure you make use of Meta uh, Mask. Okay. So I'm going to click on the connect button to proceed with the steps. And once I do that, this is what will be displayed. So amongst the list of the wallets on the screen, I am going to select MetaMask because that is what we are making use of. Then here, if you have more than one wallet in your MetaMask, you will need to click on this drop-down arrow to select from the list of wallets you have, the particular wallet that you want to use for this uh, testnet. Sorry for that background noise. So after selecting that, you will need to click on the uh, connect icon. And once you click on it, it will say connected. Okay. But then this is still showing. You do not need to panic. You have to do it again. Okay. And once you do that, this is what is going to uh, show up. Then you click on the confirm button. After that, it says the network has been added. That is the new network has been added. The Heaven One Test Net Network. So right now i'll click on switch network which is this very one once i do that i'll click on got it and that is all now as you can see it is connecting it says here it says finish sign up so we are not done with this step we only have concluded the first step okay so now we are going to uh we are going to the step two now in the step two we will need to provide a valid email address now i will suggest the email address you should type in here should be the one you registered your satoshi account with okay let it be the, the one you used to register or sign up for your satoshi app so here i'm going to type in my email address okay after that i'll click on sign up so i'm going to do that right now then i'll click on the sign up button okay it's signing up so it's done signing up and that is why we have this good tick here okay so we are done with the step one we are done with the step two now we are going to step three okay and this is where we have our wallet address this is my wallet address as you can see it on the screen so here i will need to uh, enter a referral code that is if i am referred by anyone you are going to uh, copy the person's code and you are going to type it in here so i'm going to drop my own referral code in the description below if you wish to make use of it you feel free to make use of it then under the account type i am going to click on it and select individual that is the first option here and also country of residence i'm going to select uh, nigeria by typing nigeria on the search bar and then i'll click on this sign up to um, complete the step three so i'm going to do that right away and you see it shows uh signing up it's loading so guys the process has been completed and that is why here you see this good tick so we have completed the three basic steps for the 
test net, which is the first one, the second one, and the third one. All right. So I'm trying to go back. And here on this page, okay, on this page, this is my own referral code, which was just displayed right now. Okay, now if I want to share this referral code, I'm going to drop it in the description. If you want to share to your friends to register with your code, you feel free to click on this button. And once you click on this button, you copy this code and you share it to your friends. Now, if you want to share via link, you can click on this copy button here. And once you do that, this uh, link will be copied. You can send it to your friends and they will register with your link. Now, another important thing, another thing that is very important here is you need to verify identity, which is uh, this one here. Okay, when you click on it, it will take us to another page. Okay, so this is the page that loads up. It says your data is encrypted and will never be shared without your explicit consent. Your on-chain transactions remain anonymous and cannot be linked to your identity unless you choose to share it with an application. So what we do now is we click on this connect button then we are going to reconnect i'm going to select uh, metamask and i will click on the connect button okay it says that my account has been connected that's that pop-up message that came down here now here it says connecting okay now as you can see i have connected my wallet and as you can see here it is in the test net version so if i want to sign in right now i'm going to click on the sign in button okay so i'll click on sign all right then it's signing in just give it some seconds okay now here it says check your personal information you can click on this place and select individual which was the first option that we used we click here to select our country again which is nigeria then under nationality we can still choose nigeria that is depending on your location i am in nigeria and i am from nigeria now here it says you make sure that whatever you submit is correct okay now it says again here verify your identity you end boost on your airdrop rewards by being among the first uh, 40 000, uh users now if you want to proceed you can do that okay by uh, reading this instruction here to understand it better after which you copy the link by clicking on this icon now it says you have to switch to your mobile default browser switch to your default browser example your chrome or safari you can copy the link and open it in your mobile browser to complete the kyc process as it cannot be performed within the metamask uh, browser now the most important thing is we have linked our uh, address okay and this same address is the address that we're going to make use of or this same wallet is the same wallet that we're going to make use of if we want to uh submit for withdrawal in the satoshi app so i'll click on this link the copy link icon here to copy this uh link then i'll go over to my browser so this is my chrome browser on the search bar i am going to click on the paste option and click on enter so I will allow the page to load up. So the page has loaded up. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'm going to reconnect. Okay, remember, initially we started with our MetaMask. Now we are in uh, the Chrome uh, section. So I'm going to click on the connect now. Then I'll choose uh, MetaMask. Okay, I'll just click on this to select MetaMask. Then here I'm going to click on MetaMask. Then it will request me to connect to my MetaMask. So I'm going to authorize the connection. Okay, so here it's my MetaMask already. I also still need to go back to my Chrome and also click on the MetaMask again. Now, remember that all this process, you can do all those in the Chrome that's using your Chrome. That is, instead of starting with the MetaMask, you can come to Chrome and paste the link on Chrome. Then you uh, take the processes one after the other using the Chrome version. So I'm going to select on MetaMask again now the page has loaded that is the kyc page it has loaded now i want you to remember that actually what we are trying to do now is to do the having one kyc okay to do the identity verification and remember that the link we used is actually this link on the screen i'm trying to open the metamask to show you so that you don't get uh confused so this is the link that i copied okay this is the link that we copied so in your own case it may show you to connect uh, your metamask again if it shows you then you connect if it doesn't show you then there is no need connecting okay 
in the previous scenes you see that it, it, it uh, instructed that i connect to my metamask before it brought this okay so now i'm going to click on the face scan here sorry i'm going to click on start verification so i'll do that right now i will accept the terms and the conditions by clicking on this all right then i'll give it some seconds to load after that i am going to do the face verification following the instruction that is on the screen now it wants to scan my face okay and this is the instruction these are the instructions the first is me i will make sure that i center my face in the frame okay i'll follow the second instruction then the third one make sure that you are in a very light environment okay don't be in a dark room while doing this so that it can capture your face very well so in order to proceed now i'm going to pause this video after which i am going to click on grant camera permission to proceed with the verification so i am done with the face verification that is the liveliness check so i'll move to the next step which is the id document uh, capturing so i'll click on the continue verification button here i'm going to select my country which is nigeria then um we have different options here is either you make use of your passport that is the international passport or your national id card your driver's license or your resident permit so i'm going to use my national id card so i'll click on it right now then it will say scan my document just as you see on the screen I'll click on the scan document button okay here i am going to use my phone to scan this code the next thing i will do is i will in order to scan this code i will just zoom this in then i will screenshot it after which i am going to crop this image okay and here is it i have cropped it so i'll save it okay i'll click on this button to save it then i will go to i will open another um let's say another tab by clicking on this plus button here once i open it i will click on this uh, scanner this is a scanner icon so once i click on it i will accept okay then um this is the code okay I don't know if you can see it on the screen but this is the code all right for security reasons you may not be seeing it but if if you are seeing it no problem so i will select it all right so once i select it you see it has opened it says add shortcuts not now then i'm just going to um if i wish i can copy the url or i will just tap on this let me copy the url first then let me tap on this to see if it will open yes it's trying to open right now okay so this will actually take um, some minutes, but you just have to give it time. All right. You just have to be patient. So it has brought me back to this page and I will click on scan my document right now. Okay. Now the challenge here now is that it has brought me back to this section. Okay. So I will get my other phone. I'll get my second phone to just uh, scan it with my second phone. So I'm going to do that right away so uh, this is my second phone i will click on this button here again then um as you can see i am trying to scan it so i'm going to tap on this icon here the camera icon let me tap on it then i'm going to position this at the center and then it says the tap the shutter button to open the website so i'm going to tap on this right now so i will just tap once I do that, it will take me to another page. Let's wait for it to load. Now it has opened. I'll click on scan my document. I'm going to grant it permission by clicking on the first one. Allow this time. Then uh, it says uh, this site can't ask for your permission. Close blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to close uh, the screen record right now. After which I will click on the try again to complete the process so i have just uploaded my document the front uh the front page of my id card and the back page okay so and after that it says documents uploaded your document has been successfully submitted and is awaiting verification so i can just click on the continue button here okay it says pending verification 
your identity is currently being verified please allow up to 24 hours for the process to be completed so i'll click on this finish button right now then it will take me to the finish page okay i think that is all i think that is all so i'll give them uh from now till the next 24 hours to see or to check if my verification has been completed if my identity has been verified so please take note if you do not have uh, two phones to do this verification after you must have uh, scanned the barcode you can just copy the url then you come back to your browser and click on this button which is open new tab button that is to add a new tab then you uh, paste the link you can go to play store and download any barcode uh, scanner now this is my play store on the screen here are different barcode or qr uh, code scanner so you can download any of this app you can use it to scan the uh, the qr code and once you scan it the url or the website will be opened so you just have to copy it and go to your chrome browser and paste it on the search bar to load up the page for you to continue the process of the verification so guys this is how to participate in the testnet uh, registration and how to do your kyc on the haven one uh platform so guys thank you for being with me till the end of this uh, video if this is your first time of visiting my youtube channel do well to support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up to this video if you have any question at all please you do well to drop your question in the comment section below i'm also going to drop my whatsapp group link in the description below so that if you wish to join my whatsapp for further discussion or for further questions you feel free to make use of the link that I'm going to drop in the description below. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can link your Haven One withdrawal wallet address to your Satoshi app. So guys, I hope to see you in my next video.